I've been staying at my parents' house the past few weeks, which contains a lot of old, outdated clothes. And then I realized, now is the perfect time to try styling old, outdated fashion trends to be cute in 2023. I asked you all over on Instagram to send me outdated fashion trends. Y'all really delivered. And many of the suggestions I was able to find in this house. So today I'm gonna try to style them. I'm also gonna style a couple things that weren't specifically suggested, but are just items I have lying around that were popular a handful of years ago that are just past their peak now. Maybe you guys have pieces like that in your wardrobe still too. So today we're gonna try to breathe some new life into them. To add to the challenge, because I'm not at my own place right now, I am working with a very very limited wardrobe of what I could bring with me here in a carry-on and um, whatever I find around the house. All right, let's get started. First up, I am going to style this bright teal puffer coat. This is not super outdated. It's just one of those things that's past its peak popularity. I don't wear it now. So we're gonna try to give it some new life. To me, puffer jackets have sort of like a sporty vibe to them. And I've really been liking sporty mixed with like feminine right now. So I think I'm gonna start by pairing it with this black midi skirt. And I'm gonna zip the jacket all the way up. I feel like that's a popular look right now and then I don't have to choose a shirt to go under it. So let's start with that. Okay, this is fun. I'm into this. I think this is a good start. I also thought it would be fun to add in some little like butterfly clips in my hair, lean into that sort of sporty Y2K vibes. I don't know. I think it would be fun with this. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. This is cute, I like it. Now we're just gonna add in some like final accessories that combine like feminine and sporty. So we have these sunglasses, leather crossbody bag, and then for shoes, I'm gonna put on my lug sole loafers. Okay, let's see the finished product. Okay, I'm so into this. I think this is so cool. I like this even more than I expected to. I would 100% wear this now. I love how these like sporty plus girly outfits are like so chic but also so like playful and fun. Yeah, I'm really feeling this. Let me know what what you guys think. I know this wasn't that much of a challenge. It's not like this is like a super outdated item. We're gonna get to that. But yeah, I'm so happy with this look. All right, our next item is this fluffy Sherpa quarter zip. Again, this item is not terribly outdated. It's just another piece that's past its peak. Wow, another piece that's past its peak. Say that five times fast. Anyway, I don't wear it. Let's try to make it interesting and fun. I actually think this outfit I'm wearing right now could also work really well with this. Should we try it on? Let's try it on just to see how that looks too. Okay, yes, this is cute. This feels like a little more cozy, but like still has that sporty outdoorsy versus girly vibe. I'm into it. But now let's actually style it in a new way. Okay, so like I said, this is sort of another sporty outdoorsy-ish piece. Sorry, I'm gonna unzip this because I'm a, I'm a little warm. So this time I wanna style it in like a more full-on outdoorsy direction, kind of have a little gorp core moment, you know? So first I'm gonna change from the skirt into these tan knit pants. These are more loungewear, but you know, sportswear and loungewear go hand in hand. All right, I also took the clips out of my hair. Next, on top, I'm gonna layer this oversized quilted vest and then throw on these earmuffs. Who knew there was such a trendy item just laying around in my parents' house? I am gonna steal these. And then I'm gonna add my lace-up boots. Okay, yes. This is another one I like way more than I expected. It is so simple and comfortable, but I still think it actually looks so cool. I feel like such like a cool, effortless, outdoorsy gal in this, but also like I could just be a city girly running to the corner store. It's just giving very effortlessly cool winter vibes to me, like kind of sporty, kind of outdoorsy, but ultimately could work in any setting. I love it. I'm definitely gonna steal these earmuffs. Okay, because we had two more like sporty inspired looks in a row there, I did also want to show you another outfit with this fleece that's more embracing the fluffy, cozy, comfy side of it. Obviously, that's the true intention of this fleece. It's white. It's not meant for outdoorsy behaviors. <laughs> Outdoorsy behavior, outdoorsy activities. So I'm switching out the vest for this quilted little jacket. And then on top, instead of earmuffs, we have this little fluffy bucket hat. Okay, this is also so cute. I feel like a little fluffy teddy bear wrapped in a blanket. It's so cozy, it's so soft, but it still looks really cute. It's giving like Paddington bear, but make it fashion. This is a little teddy bear cute cozy sleigh. Okay, those last two pieces I already had laying around in my room at home, which is why I chose to do them. Now we are finally onto outdated fashion submissions that I did hunt around my house to find. The first repeatedly suggested, a real winter high school throwback. It is of course, the infinity scarf. I was trying to figure out what to do with this and looking at it, you know, it's a very versatile construction. I was like, there's gotta be a different way to wear it besides just around your neck. And then 
I realized the infinity scarf can be styled as a balaclava. Absolute game changer. Look at this. Are you kidding? Everyone, get your old infinity scarves out right now. This is such a win. Okay, so since we've already repurposed the infinity scarf into something so cool and modern, I don't feel like I have to go that wild with the outfit. So I'm just gonna go with some jeans and a plain black sweater to start. We're keeping it simple, we're keeping it chic. Then I'm just adding my purple plaid coat on top because of course I couldn't keep it too simple. Had to add some color, some pattern, and then we're just adding in more accessories to make things feel complete. We have the loafers for shoes, we're throwing on a crossbody bag, we're adding some little sunglasses, and voila. Super simple, super easy, but still looking very 2023, in my opinion. I also figured I should probably show you how exactly I um, styled this scarf as a balaclava, so here's a little demonstration. Just put it around your neck, and then for the second loop, instead of putting that around your neck again, you just drape it over your head, stretch it out so the scarf, you know, covers the back and top of your head, and there you go. All right, our next look will involve a different type of jeans. These jeans were also the most submitted item uh, of outdated fashion trends. Um, yeah, it's skinny jeans, of course. These are the skinniest jeans I still owned that were in my closet here, and they're actually labeled high rise ankle slim, um, but they are skinnier than any jeans I would wear now. The standard for skinny jeans was so skinny that like, if it had any breathing room at all, they're not labeled as <laughs> skinny jeans. But like, to me, these are skinny jeans. Anyway, okay, let's style these. So I feel like skinny jeans can look a bit like daintier and more polished than other types of jeans. So I want to pair these with some more current dainty feminine pieces. To start on top, I'm going to do this oversized collar white blouse. And then I have more ideas, but let's get these on and then we'll look at the next steps. Okay, here's our starting point. Not bad. Although these jeans, they also say they're high rise. This is not a high rise. Next, to make it even girlier and cuter, I'm going to add a little neck ribbon. We have this red one right here. I'm going to tie it in a little bow. Okay kind of adorable. This is a sleigh so far. And then on top, I thought it might be fun to add my fur trimmed coat. I feel like this is a good little texture to add in. We're sort of leaning into some like 60s twee-ish elements, which, you know, twee also popular in the 2010s. But I think we're gonna make it work for now. I don't know, I like it. For shoes, we're gonna do loafers. Sorry, I only have two shoe options. Let's get that on and then we'll add finishing touches. Okay, this is kind of fun. I feel like a little old-timey boy prince, so that's always a good sign. I think we just need like a couple more cute little accessories. I want to put a beret, of course. We have tan or black. I'm not sure which yet. And then I think I'm gonna add these little sunglasses too, just to really like commit to the little chic Parisian <laughs> cosplay we have going here. Yeah, okay, let's see the finished look. Okay, I think we did it. I think this is a success. This feels so fun and retro. It's like definitely leaning 60s twee vibes. I think that's cute. I love to feel like a character in a Wes Anderson film. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's fun. This cut of pants fits well with the rest of the outfit because slimmer, more cropped pants were more the style in like the 60s. I do think these pants are a little too cropped. These are definitely from the era of the cropped pant. So I took off my little socks because I thought they looked weird with it. But I think the skinniness of the pants really works. Like imagine this with like a baggy jean, it would not work at all. So maybe skinny jeans do have a place in our wardrobe after all. Controversial, I know. Just kidding. Obviously, I think you should wear whatever you like the most. I support anyone wearing skinny jeans who wants to wear them. I, I think they look good here. I don't know. Weigh in. Okay, our next outdated trend is boho, specifically peasant blouses, which I thought was such a good suggestion because it's really not popular at the moment. It definitely makes me think of like a certain time in fashion, but I don't think it's bad. I still respect this look, so I'm excited to update it a little. So the only boho leaning top I found around my house is this one. It's not quite a peasant blouse, but it definitely still has those 2010s boho vibes. And I actually thrift flipped it to add these little ties. I don't know, last summer, you can watch the video right there if you want. There's a bunch of much better thrift flips in there. You know, I still never wore it. I still left it here. I just was not feeling inspired to wear this. So we're gonna try it today. This is one where if I had my whole wardrobe with me, I know exactly how I would style it. I would love to put it with like chic going out pieces because it's so opposite. And I think the friction between the two styles would make a really 
interesting look. So like a black mini skirt, tall black boots, that's what I would do. But I don't have any of those things with me. So we have to exercise our creativity. When in doubt, I love to pair a frilly, flowy, feminine top with overalls. So let's try that to start. Okay, this works to me. I'm not mad at this. I like how my little added ties are just peeking out on the sides a little bit. You have a little mixed pattern detail there. I think this is working, but it doesn't feel especially 2023. So I feel like right now the way to make any outfit look current is to add some hair ribbons. So I'm gonna do my hair in two little braids, add these ribbons on the end, and then see what's next. All right, here we have it. These are adorable as always. This is a very summery outfit obviously, so I just could not bring myself to do my boots or my loafers again. So I stole these shoes from my mom's closet. They're like slingback fisherman sandals. I don't even know what you would call these, but I'm kind of in love with them. I want these, but we're gonna put these on. And to make this a little less summery, I might throw on a cardigan because someone also suggested cropped cardigans, which for me, that's definitely another thing that I have around, used to wear all the time. Now I just am not drawn to it. So that might be a good one to throw in too. I'm gonna play with all those things and then show you the final result. Okay, I kind of love this. This is another one I really like more than I expect to do. How many times have I said that in this video? I don't know. I think this is really cute and fun. I feel like the cropped cardigan button and off the shoulder, it kind of adds that like 80s look that has been becoming popular. I like that it's a mix of more current things with things I'm not as drawn to these days with things that are just like more unique in general, like these shoes. This is just so simple and cute. All right, y'all. We're on to our last trend and greatest challenge, the final boss, if you will, galaxy print. Amazingly, I found these shoes that are at least 10 years old in my sister's old closet. These are Vans, a real 2010s throwback, and they're actually a hand-painted galaxy design that her friend made for her, which is honestly cool. Like, as far as galaxy print items to work with, this is the best I could get, I, I would think. So for this look, I'm really trying to detach all the associations I have with this print from the 2010s and instead just think about what it invokes in like a broader sense. Like when I think of space, what does that bring to mind? And I think I have to go for like an ethereal, powerful space princess kind of look, but like make it casual because that's what I have. I have a vision, okay? Stay with me. To start, I'm gonna bring back my black midi skirt from earlier and then on top, this like swirly purple paisley pattern top. This print is also a bit galactic now that I think about it and it adds sort of a mystical vibe. So let's put all this on and then see what we wanna add. Okay, here's where we're at. I wanted to add white knee socks because I don't know, I thought that would be better, but I think it looks kind of weird. So I'm probably gonna take those off. And then on the top, I really wanted like a cinched waist and then for the shirt to flare out. So I just like gathered up a little tail of extra shirt in the back and tucked that in and it pretty much did what I wanted. Ideally, I would have like a belt or a harness would be awesome for this look, but um, I don't have those things with me. So this is my little substitute. Now for my final accessories, I wanna add this puffy headband on top because the braided shape is sort of princess vibes, but then the puffy shape is like space age, so space princess, you get it. And then I also thought these little purple loop earrings could be so cute with this. They'll tie in the colors perfectly. They're another like kind of space age shaped detail. Okay, let's do it. All right, y'all, I added my accessories. I relaced the shoes so the laces aren't sticking out and I took off my little knee socks and now it's time for the grand reveal. What do we think? Does it work? Did I make it work? I kind of feel like maybe I made it work. I think this is fun. Wow. Hi. What's up? No. What do you want? Yeah, I love the repetition of these like purple space-like patterns. I think the more dressed up feminine style is also a cool spin on this print. I love this like combination and meeting point of mystical astrology space vibes and like scientific astronomy space vibes. Does that make sense? I think this is actually really fun and I think this is a more interesting outfit because of these galaxy pattern vans. Like if it was just black boots or something, it wouldn't be as interesting. It wouldn't be as interesting. That
that's a fact. I do think this would look a lot better with my harness though. I will say that. I cannot wait to hear what you all think of this outfit in the comments and of all the outfits. Do you think I pulled them off, made the pieces work? What are your thoughts on these outdated trends? I'm just so curious. I really want to know what you all think about this. Oh, I'd also like to recommend to you my styling random clothing pairings video. If you enjoyed this one, this was another really fun clothing styling challenge with difficult pieces to style. It's a really fun one, so check it out right there. Oh, and I heard if you watch another video, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Your current favorite item will never become an outdated trend that everyone thinks is embarrassing in 10 years. It will remain cool and chic forever.